Hello there and welcome back. If you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're looking for some graduation gift ideas. Maybe you have a friend or family member that's graduating and going into teaching. Maybe you are currently a teacher, but you have a student teacher you want to get a gift for, or maybe you're the one graduating and you don't know what to ask for. I graduated in four years. I never studied once. Whatever category you fit into, this video is going to help. I'm going to share my top five graduation gifts for new teachers of any grade level or subject area. I want to preface this by saying I do think it's a good idea to check with the person you're buying for to see if there's anything they specifically need or want. Obviously, gift cards, always a great option, always appreciated in the world of teaching. But again, it might be helpful to ask if there is a certain store that the gift card would be best for. A few safe options would be Amazon, Target, education stores like Lakeshore Learning or local stores. But in this video, I'm going to share five physical gift ideas in case you want to be able to give them something to actually open. Gift idea number one is a personal laminator. Yes, a lot of schools do have laminating machines. However, a personal laminator has much thicker and more durable lamination than what you find at those large school machines. Plus, this doesn't jam as often as the ones you find at schools. Plus, plus, that's a thing. <laughs> the lamination also does not peel after you cut things out. Because a lot of school laminators have thin lamination, if you cut around the lamination, the corners start to peel. Whereas with this, you can laminate and then cut and it doesn't peel. Now, I personally have only ever used the Scotch brand laminators, but there's tons of options. If you look, I just recommend reading reviews. And then in addition to the actual laminator, I also recommend laminating sleeves or pouches, whatever you want to call them. The great thing is you can typically buy these in bulk. I love like the 200 packs because it's not like they go bad and trust me, like I always find ways to use them. So getting a big bulk pack of laminating sleeves for someone that already has a laminator is a great option as well. Speaking of already having laminators, you know, having multiple is not bad. <laughs> Personally, I had, but even having just two laminators is great because you can have one at school and then one at home and you don't have to transport it back and forth. And having a personal laminator is a great way to make new friends at a school because when word gets out that you have a laminator, people will come by and ask to use it and then you can make small talk and you know, be social. Maybe I'm the only one that struggled with being social as a new teacher. Could be a me problem. <laughs> Along the same lines, gift idea number two is then a personal paper cutter. Yes, again, a lot of schools will have paper cutters available in the teacher's lounge or in the copy room. However, most of them are ancient and therefore do not work very well because the blade is dull and instead of actually cutting the paper, it just like folds it <laughs> and crinkles it. No, we don't actually cut the paper. That's a good question. And you get very annoyed. The great thing is these personal paper cutters are not very expensive and you can keep them in like a drawer or a cabinet at school. And it's great to be able to have on hand for lots of cutting because as teachers, whether you're cutting regular paper or cardstock or lamination, your hand gets sore after a while. Now, this one is the Amazon Basics brand. There are also Swingline and Fiskars. I've used both of those and loved them. Sometimes you can even find what I'm gonna call mini versions. So these have just like half of the width. They also have handles, <laughs> but the great thing is this is much easier to store in a drawer versus the larger one. So just be on the lookout or again, check with the person to see what they would prefer. I do prefer the guillotine style. I know it's a little intimidating, but the paper cutters where you just slide the little thing and it has a little dinky blade on it, they don't do a whole lot. And the blade gets dull very, very quickly. So personally, if you're gonna invest in a paper cutter, get one of the guillotine ones. Again, I do think that it's great to have multiple of these, one at school, one at home, but that's just me. It is also a great way to make friends at your new school building. And it's great going into the summer if you're gonna be prepping a lot or the person you're buying for is going to be prepping materials for their classroom. 
paper cutter, it's the move. The third gift idea is books because I feel like you can never have enough, but they also get very expensive. Now, I'm a little biased, but one book I would recommend is First Class Teaching, 10 Lessons You Don't Learn in College that I wrote because I literally wrote this as the book I wish I had as a first year teacher. It's meant to help newly graduated education majors transition from college to the classroom. So if you are interested, I will link this down below. It's on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, but I also have a full Amazon list, I think is what it's called. It's on my Amazon storefront, but it has a whole bunch of other teacher professional development books. For example, the classroom management book is fantastic for new teachers. So you can look through that list and maybe get some ideas. Also, just a little plug, I'm doing a free summer book club in a Facebook group that anyone who buys my book can join into and we will meet weekly to break down the chapters. And if you miss it this summer, there is always next summer. So information for that will be down below. But in addition to teacher professional development books, it's always nice to get classroom books, like books for your students. Personally, I did a lot of the buying for classroom books at places like Goodwill, other thrift shops, yard sales, and you could even make a day of it and go with the person you're going to buy them for and be able to look through the books together. I think that would be a lot of fun, but you can also buy brand new copies of books, especially if they are books that the teacher is going to read aloud. Those I would always spend extra money on to have brand new because sometimes it was hard to find them at thrift stores. So a few recommendations. Number one, our class is a family and a letter from your teacher on the first day of school. Both of these are by Shannon Olson. Love them. She has two other ones. Our school is a family and a letter from your teacher on the last day of school. Those are also on my Amazon list of all the books along with some other read alouds that I recommend. Plus I have a YouTube video with five of my favorite back to school read alouds. And there are some freebies that you can grab little activities to go along with it. So all of those links will be for you down in the description box. The fourth gift idea is a collection of keyword quality office supplies. If there's one thing teaching will teach you, it's that a good pair of scissors and a good stapler are a necessity and a lot of the ones you buy are cheap and will not last all year weird Ooh, dollar for a stapler that's pretty good speaking from experience when i was fresh out of college i didn't want to splurge on like a nice pair of scissors or a nice stapler because that just wasn't exciting now some schools do supply these but even if they do they're typically not like super great quality so you can be the little fairy of office supplies that gifts this teacher with good quality pens and staplers and scissors that are going to last them all year and make their life easier. So a few recommendations for scissors. These are my absolute favorite. They are not normal scissors. They are fancy scissors. <laughs> these are the Fiskars brand and you will notice there's this little lock. If you unlock it, they are spring loaded. Okay. Little spring. Basically you put barely any effort and it automatically will lift back up. So rather than using your hands to like crunch and then open the scissors, crunch was not the right word, but you know what I'm going for. You just press down and they open back up on their own. If you're doing a lot of cutting, these save your hands. Next onto staplers. I learned that a lot of staplers will easily jam. And if you're doing a lot of stapling, again, your hand gets tired. So I love the boss stitch. I think it's called like the paper pro stapler or something along those lines, but it's one of those easy effort where you press down. You don't have to put as much effort. It's like an air thing <laughs> that pushes it down. I wish I knew how this thing worked. All I know is, it is magical and this was one of my favorites. So I will have all of these linked for you down below along with a good staple remover. And I'm not talking about the little claw ones, okay? No, no, no. You need one of these flat staple removers. What happens is you just put this metal piece under and lift up and the staple pops out. The end is magnetic so the staple doesn't get lost around your classroom. It stays attached to the end so you can peel it off and throw it away. And these are fantastic for getting staples out of bulletin boards. I spent hours in my first classroom just removing old staples that were around the room. So these 
definitely a necessity. I know it doesn't seem super important, but also a good tape dispenser. My first tape dispenser, the little metal piece that you use that has like the claws where you rip the tape on it, it would constantly pop out. And so I'd have to put it back in, hold it down and then rip the tape and I didn't have time for that. So a good quality tape dispenser is fantastic, along with maybe some just nice pens, like pens that they can use for grading. Now, you might wanna ask them what pens they prefer because this is a very divisive topic within the teaching community. There are Papermate flare pens that are very popular. I recommend a rainbow pack for fun, colorful grading, as well as just a simple basic black with like multiple black pens. That way you have extras because your one black pen from here is not gonna last long. But there also are Papermate Inkjoy pens that are very popular. They have a click rather than a cap, but they also come in fun colors. So, you know, ask the person, see what they prefer. If you are looking for gifts for yourself, try these different pens so you know which one you prefer because there is a line in the sand and you gotta pick a side. And one last thing I would add into this pack is an easy grader. I might be dating myself with this, but easy graders are fantastic to have when you are grading because you can easily look at it and get percentages. I know there are apps for that, but sometimes it's nice just to have the physical easy grader in front of you and be able to you know, prop it up while you are grading, so. It's worth a few bucks if you ask me. The fifth and final graduation gift idea, it's kind of more of a category, it is technology. Yes, most schools and districts will supply teachers with certain pieces of technology like a computer, a projector, but there might be more specific pieces of technology that the teacher wants or needs. The number one I would recommend if they do not already have one is a wireless presenter, also known as a clicker. This allows you to click through slides and even be able to have basically a wireless mouse as you walk around your classroom so you don't have to be tied to your computer. This personal one that I have, I think it's DinoFire <laughs> is the brand, but what I love about this, it is rechargeable. So it just plugs in through USB and you don't have to change batteries on it. It has a laser pointer, which is super helpful to be able to point things out on the slide. It also has a built-in wireless mouse. My old one did not have this and I don't know how I lived without it. Basically there is a button and if you press it, you can then use this like a wireless mouse from around the room, which is really helpful. And it has this little hook piece. So you can like hook it on a lanyard or like pants or a shirt or something like that. So you don't lose track of it around the room because I'm constantly putting mine down. And then I would have to ask my students who could find it because I could not. And I take it back. I just looked at my notes. My old one was Dino Fire. This one is Dino Strike. Could be the same brand, could be competing brands. Not really sure, but I will have this linked for you down below. I actually have a full Amazon list of all of the technology items. The second thing you might wanna consider is some kind of an iPad or tablet. There are so many ways you can use this as a teacher. I have a full video where I go through different ways to use an iPad, so that will be linked down below. But to go along with it, I recommend some kind of a stylus or Apple Pencil. You can use this for digital planning. You can present lessons from it around the room. You can use it to take notes at meetings. Truly, it is a great investment if you are, you know, a tablet user. If you don't wanna embrace technology, that's fine too. But I truly think an iPad is a fantastic graduation gift. The final piece of technology I would recommend is a printer. Again, most schools do have like copier machines that you can print to. But I know some teachers would actually keep like personal printers in their classroom for kind of last minute things or for colored printing. I never had one in my classroom, but I do have one at home that I would use all the time. The one that I have is no longer made, but I do have some other very similar options on the Amazon list. I am a huge fan of HP printers. The reason is I have been using HP Instant Ink for years now and have never looked back. It's basically an ink subscription program. So rather than having to buy new ink, it's shipped directly to your house and you have a set number of prints for the month, depending on what plan you choose. 
but those prints can be a full page of color or like one little black dot, it doesn't matter, it counts the same. So if you're doing a lot of color printing, it is a huge money saver. I will have a link where you can get a free month of HP Insta Ink down below, but a lot of HP printers, when you buy them, they will even give you free months of HP Insta Ink. So if you have not already looked into that, I think that is a huge, huge money saver for teachers who do a lot of printing. I hate that I sell cheap printers and a printer in general is just a great gift idea for any teacher out there because, you know, we, we do a lot of printing. <laughs> that is it. Those are my top five graduation gifts for new teachers. I hope this video was helpful for you. The links for everything will be down below, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will get back to you. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a way for you to support my channel and be able to get my videos into the eyes of more teachers. <laughs> that sounded weird, but you know what I meant. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.